um, welcome back to a, a place you must have incredibly special memories. I mean, a year ago, if you were in this position, would you have imagined that you'd be sitting here now as the champion? Um, I don't think so, I think. I mean, um, a lot of things change, and especially here from last year. I mean, I, that was my breakthrough, and um, everything starts here. So it's nice to be back here, actually, and I have so many great memories. But, um, yeah, it's, it's great to start the first Grand Slam again here in Melbourne. And, um, yeah, I'm looking forward, actually, to start this special tournament for me again. And when you walked through the gates for the first time in the last week or so, is, is there a, a particular moment that, that came back to you at all? You know, it was everything. The first day was really special when we was driving through the gates and, um, yeah, I was walking um, from the transportation to the locker room where I remember I was sitting like 12 months ago after the final with nobody was there and now it's a new tournament again and we are starting from zero and everybody's here again to play the best tennis. So a lot of good memories and also when I hit the first time on the Rod Laver, that was uh, really special as well. Angela, what are your memories of that first round match last year? How, how clear is that to you? I still remember the match very well. I mean, I was thinking and talking about that match um, a lot of times already. And uh, I think this this point where I was match point down, that was, I think, the um, yeah the important point for, for my career because you never know when I lost the match what's happened then. And um, I was feeling, uh, when I'm looking back, I was feeling that I get the second chance to stay in the tournament. and. I was playing since then, like without expectation, without nothing, just like you know, uh, enjoying everything. And I will start, um, yeah, to coming with this feeling again here from the first round and playing, yeah, my best tennis because it's a new year. We will see what this year will bring, but um, yeah, I will try to play my best and let's see how far I can get this year. Angelique, will it be harder, Angelique? Will it, will it be harder to do that? You know, now you're number one seed and world number one, to play without expectation? You know, of course, it's a little bit different than last year, but um, I think also that I get used to it in the last few months, and uh, it's a new challenge for me, that's, that's for sure, but, um, you know, it's a new tournament, and we are starting from zero here. I will... Uh, I have to be ready from the first round again, and um, I will try to not putting too much expectation and pressure on myself. I mean, um, I will try to do it like last year. That was the way I had my success, and I will try to continue this step year again. Angela, you, you talked about the, your best tennis. Are you searching for your best tennis at the moment? Because obviously you, you lost a little earlier in the tournament last week. Are you, are you not quite there at the moment? Um, we will see. I think every tournament starts from zero, and uh, I played like in Brisbane last year a little bit better. I reached the final, and uh, this year I, I lost a little bit earlier. But um, I mean, I'm not thinking about these tournaments right now. I mean, Grand Slams are always different, of course, the first rounds as well. And uh, I'm feeling good. I was practicing good in the last few days here. Also, my preseason was very tough. So um, I hope that I can make the transit on the match courts here. What, what does it actually feel like to be number one in the world? Um, you know, um, it feels good. Um, a lot of pressure as well, and I have much more things to do. I mean, the day schedule is a little bit tighter than 12 months ago. But um, at the end, I'm still trying to do my things like I was doing this before. And um, it's just a number before my name. And I will try, of course, to stay as long as possible there. But um, yeah, it's a new challenge. And I think that I'm ready for that challenge. And let's see how I can um, yeah, deal with that. From what you have seen of other players, is, it, is the more difficult thing to get to number one or to stay there? Um, I think both. I mean, for sure, first of all, you have to go there and um, get to the number one place. What, what's not so easy because you have to play a really consistent year, winning a lot of matches. And um, to staying there, it's, of course, it's, it's harder than maybe to reach it because um, you have to deal with a lot of more things than um, you expect. And um, yeah, it's completely a new challenge. So it's really different and difficult as well. But um, I think 
this is also a privilege a little bit. So I'm I'm really happy to be there and to um, taking now the new challenges. Angie, at number one and two Grand Slams, obviously the expectation around you can, can change. People might expect more of you and that creates pressure. But do you expect more of yourself? Um, to be honest, um, it's like... I think it's the same feeling than when I won the Australian Open last year and I came to Paris and everything was new and now it's just that I'm the number one so it's new as well but I think the same situation and for me it's I'm expecting the same what I was expecting the years be before for me going out there and try my best fighting until the last point and this is always um, how I'm playing how I am and this will be not changing because this is um, why I'm here and um, this is what I'm expecting from me, just going out and trying to um, playing good because I know that I'm ready. I had a great preseason and um, this is for me everything what counts right now.